Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create a one product Shopify store step by step. So without wasting time, let's get into it. You can follow the link in the description to this page. Shopify is giving 3 day free trial and $1 per month for 3 months. So if you want to test any products for your e-commerce business or dropshipping, you can take advantage of this offer and use Shopify for 3 months for just $3. So let's start by adding the email address and click on start free trial. It will ask you to sign up for an account on Shopify. You can use your Gmail account or any other email that you have for signing up. I will continue with my Gmail account. After signing up Shopify will start creating your store. Once the store is created, you will be taken to the dashboard of your store. Here you can answer these questions or just skip by clicking on I don't want to help setting up. Once you have answered all questions, click on get started. This will be your store's dashboard. Here you can see all steps you need to complete to start selling in your store. Let's start by naming our store. For store name I will go to chat GPT and ask for a store name. I'm going to use a hair curler as sample product to sell in my store for the purpose of this video. So I will ask for the name accordingly. Let's copy any one of these names and use it for our store. Next let's add a product to our store. This is the product I will add to my store. We cannot directly download the product images from AliExpress. To download the images, you will need to install an extension on your Google Chrome called AliSave Plus. So let's install this extension. After the installation is completed, go back to AliExpress and reload the product page. You can see the options to download images now. I will click on all and it will download all images, including main variant and description images. Let's copy product name from title. To use it as our product name in our store, do not copy the same title from AliExpress. Try to keep it short and simple in your store. Let's go back to our store and start adding the relevant information for our product. For the description, I will copy the product name from AliExpress and ask ChatGPT to give me a description for this product. As this is just a sample product, that's why I'm asking things from ChatGPT, but you can use information according to your product. Let's format the description so it looks better. I am adding the title as heading in the description as it helps with better SEO of the product. Now let's add images for our product that we got from AliExpress. I'm fast forwarding some general steps here to keep the video short. Let's add some images in our description as well. Use the product title as alt text of the image as it also helps with better search engine optimization. Let's add variations for our product and set their prices. Let's save our product and check the preview. So this is our product page looks like. You can see the product is shown as sold out because we did not add the quantity to our product. Let's fix it. You can also add your product category as well. It helps search engines to know in which category your product should be shown in search results. Let's hit save and check the preview again. While saving Shopify can sometimes give server error, but you can ignore it. 
it will not interrupt the saving process. Now you can see the product is available to add to cart. Also, our product page looks pretty good. Now let's go back to Shopify and start customizing our theme. To customize the theme, go to online store in the left sidebar. If you click on the icon next to online store, you can see the preview of your store. So this is how our store looks like. Let's customize it to make it look more appealing. Here if you scroll down, you can see there are free themes from Shopify that we can use. I'm going to use the same theme that's already installed on my store called Don. Let's customize our theme now. For this click on customize. This is the Shopify visual theme editor. On the left side by you can see all the sections that are used on our homepage. We can edit these sections however we want by clicking on them and play with their settings. We can also add or remove sections by clicking on plus icons or delete icon next to the section names. So for example if I want to edit the announcement bar, I will edit this block under announcement bar section. Let's change this text to something sale flat 50% off today only. Next section is header that contains the main menu, cart and other search icons. Right now our main menu has three items, home catalog and contact. To edit the menu just click on this header section and click on small arrow next to main menu. It will open another tab and take you to the page where you can edit your main menu. You can also edit your menus by going to navigation under online store in the left sidebar. Here you can see the items we have on our header. You can edit, delete or add menued items here by clicking on the respective buttons. I want to delete the catalog from here and add my main product in my header. So I will click on add menu item and in the right side overlay, I will search for my product and it will automatically fetch its name and fill the information for me. You can also change position of your menu items by dragging them up or down. Once you are done, click on save menu and go back to the theme editor. Click on save in the upper right corner. You can see our header is updated with our new menu items. Next we have our image banner section. You can add your banners here and update the text and buttons. I don't want banner image on my home page so I will delete this section. Let's add another section under our featured collection. By clicking on add section, you can see the preview of all the sections on the right side of the menu and use any of these on your pages. I will use image with text. I will drag this section on top of my featured collection and get rid of this featured collection. As we are selling only one product, we don't need to have a collection for now. The three items under this section are blocks. Each block is self-explanatory and we can easily understand how we can edit them. For example, if you click on image with text and change this text, it will change the heading on right side. Click on the section to add the image. Click on select image and upload your image. I will add one of my product images here. Now let's add our product name in the heading. I will copy some of the text that I asked earlier from ChatGPT and paste in the second block to give a short explanation about our product. Next link our product to this button by clicking on the third block. Chain the button label to shop now or any text you want and add our product to the product link. Click on save and let's check the preview of our home page by clicking on these three dots and hit view. So our first section is looking good. Let's make this heading bold so it stands out. Let's add a few more image with text sections by repeating the same steps and add more information about our product. Here I will make this image second so it will be on right side of the page. Now let's repeat the same process we did for our first section. Next I will add the featured product section as we should have our product on our home page when creating one product stores. You can see our home page is starting to look way better. 
Now let's add a mission statement for our store. For this, I will add a rich text section and make changes to the sample text here. Let's ask ChatGPT to write a mission statement for our store. I will link my product to this button again. I will add another section for FAQs now. This section is called collapsible content in this theme. Here if you click on collapsible row block, you can write your questions under the heading text box and answers under row content. I will again ask ChatGPT to give me some FAQs about this product. Let's copy some of these FAQs and add them to our collapsible rows. To remove this check mark before the question, just click on the collapsible row and change the icon to none. Click on save and let's check the preview of our home page. So our home page is almost ready. I would like to add another image with text section, so let's do it. Now, let's exit out of the theme editor and create policies for our store to add to the footer menu. To create policies, go to the settings on the bottom left corner and click on policies in the left sidebar. Here you can add all of your store policies. Let's ask ChatGPT to write return and refund policy for this store. Here you can add your store name wherever needed. You can also create policies. Using this create from template button, Shopify will automatically create the template for you. You can then make changes to it according to your own policies. Let's finish creating these policies and then add them to our footer menu. Now go to navigation and click on footer menu. Let's add our policy pages to our footer menu. Now let's go back to the theme editor and add our footer menu to the footer section of the store. Scroll down to the footer section and check the show policy links option. Hit save and let's see the preview of our completed home page. So our home page has been completed and it's really great. Now let's move to our product page. Here you can edit the product page. You can show or hide any options you want on your product page. I don't want to see store name on top of the title so let's hide it. I want to make the product title to be bold. So I will go to settings and click on topography. Here you can change the font weight for headings to bold and it will automatically apply bold to product title.
You can also edit your cart and checkout pages. I'm happy with my cart page. There are not many customizations you can do for checkout page, as it's same for all stores, but you can add your logo in here. Well, I forgot to add logo to my store. So first let's make a logo and add it to our store and checkout page. I will go to Canva to make the logo. Search for logo here. You can see there are many ready-made templates that we can use to make our logos. I will quickly choose one of these and do logo for my store. To add logo to the store, go to settings and click on logo. Here you can upload your logo and it will be automatically apply on your header. Here you can set the width of your logo as well. Now let's add logo to our checkout. For this again go to settings and scroll down to checkout. Click on select image and add your logo here. Here you can set the logo size as well for checkout page. Now let's save and exit out of the theme editor. Click on the icon next to online store to see our final store. So this is our complete one product Shopify store. Once the store is ready you just have to go to settings and add your personal or business information to use Shopify payments or any other payment processor to accept payments from your customers. If you liked this video don't forget to like share and subscribe. Thank you.